I wanna move, I wanna groove, so I can lose any trace of the blues, and I don't care who's ever there. But just beware, I tear it up like a bear. I rock the club, I push and shove, and then we love until we both get enough. I like to rule, nobody's fool. I'm not too cool. Not much. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, Wait, everybody. Max was talking here, and he says it's kind of just a hangout channel with music. No, but it's about vape. I said it's about vape meets events. Ah, thus the floating show. Gotcha. Oh, floating show because we travel. I guess is that what you mean? Hey, Abe. Ah, well, hey, that's DC. cool. Anyway, so how you been? What's new? I'm doing all right. We're gearing up for Vapor Palooza. Yay. And, it's coming up and real the roast. Soon. Have you guys like when you're talking about the roast? Are you like, is this going to be like one of the roasts that you see, like the president and all that kind of stuff, where they roast the thing, the people? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna actually roast him. We got a day, day of set up with people that are gonna roast Vapor Joe. Hey, what's up? Oh, uh, okay. It's... And it, like, is it gonna be like really deep shit kind of stuff? More funny than deep shit. Okay. I mean, it's more comedy related. Think of your Comedy Central roast where, you know, they I go up and tell jokes that. about a person. Okay. That'll be pretty cool. Okay. 
Sir, just going to Joe. I always have a long intro, Max, because I have to get all the bait meets and events in there from those people. Yes, it is three minutes and forty-two seconds. It is a long entrance. Like the Dean Martin Rose. I haven't even seen that, Randy. By the way, hello everybody and thank you for joining. Obviously, this is baitnetworking.com. What am I called? Vape Rendezvous. There it is. So, anyways, so for those people that have not seen the show and have not seen you and we have not talked about Vaporpalooza, what all is going to be there? Well, let's see. Vaporpalooza is August 15th and 16th at the airport Hilton in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, we've got, at this point, more than 35 vendors. Holy crap. Um, we're going to be doing some fun stuff. So we've got sumo suit wrestling that's going to be oh happening God. at Vaporpalooza. <laughs> we have a huge auction, or not auction, raffles that are going to be happening there. Um, cloud contest, of course. We got an RBA room set up. Uh, we're going to be doing the roast of Vapor Joe, um, one of the evenings. So, just a grand time. And you time. are having the vaping militia there too, correct? Yeah, uh, it's my understanding. Vaping militia is going to come in and say a few words in the RBA room each day. Oh, okay. Cool. My dogs are saying so. Can you hear them? Like, <laughs> yeah. Row, 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 row. Oh yeah, I hear that quite well. They're, they're talking tonight, big time. So. Um, yeah, I, I guess I better get the music on, right? I totally forgot about the music. Anyways, uh... Alright, I think I got the dog to shut up. How long... Like, no do, do you guys have certain times of the day? Like, hours? Uh, well, uh, it's open to the public from 2 o'clock until 8 o'clock is the main hours of the main event room. Uh, the roast is probably going to happen in the evening time, so we're probably looking at after 8 for that. Do you know if that's going to be on Friday or Saturday? I believe it's Saturday night. Okay. Well. I haven't gotten the, the complete schedule yet. Oh, you haven't? So nope. do you have, like, who does all the cleaning? Like, do you guys set, like, hire somebody, like a cleaning crew or something that comes in? You know, an event like this isn't possible without the, the long list of people who volunteer to help Okay, um, so everybody volunteers. Yeah, and, and I have to say, we have Noah working on volunteers, and um, he's done a great job. He's got like 30 to 40 volunteers lined up. Really? Wow. That's awesome. Uh, I mean, we're talking about a very large event. Yeah. We're hoping for I mean, at least 1,500 to 2,000 attendees. Wow. Well, I can't wait to hear about it. Hello, Chocolate. And Max, uh, yeah, I wish I was going. So you are going next, right? He said he was not. He said he can't be there on Friday, so I'm assuming he will be there Saturday and Sunday. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people. You know, it seems like you don't hear a lot about like when these events come up, like vape, uh, Palooza or even Bash or whatever. And like in my sister group, we're in the background and we're talking about it all the fucking time. But when it comes to these events and whatnot, right at the very closest, like a week away, is when the groups just start talking constantly. Chocolate yeah, is talking it, to you, by the way. It starts to get real busy hey, three weeks in. I mean, we used to just meet once every week. Now the committees and everything, we're meeting like at least two to three times a week. We're talking to each other every day. Um, it's a lot of organization that goes into putting a meet of this size together. Right. Um, I, I've been real impressed with the people I've been working with, uh, Rhino and the, the camps and all of them. Mm -hmm. Everyone's doing a great job and looks like it's going to be a fun, fun event. I mean, we're doing things that no other bait meets really have. Right. I mean, when have you gone to a bait meet, been able to donate $50 to a charity and put on a sumo suit and beat up a friend? <laughs> Yeah, it is going to be fun, and it's going to be very different. So, and again, this is all the proceeds from this go to Wounded Warrior Project, which is a great charity. Thank you. Um, yes. And more than anything, we just want vapors to go and have fun. Well, I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of fun. Do you know some of the vendors that are going to be there? Hey, Dad and Kimmy. Yes? No? Vendors? What's that? Are you going to say what vendors are available, you know? <laughs> sure, I can go down the vendors list. Well, you don't have to say them all, but I didn't know if you knew some right off the To name some right here in the room, we got Fox Stands and Holders. He's going to be there. Uh, Cranium Vapes is going to be there. We got Pixie Vapor Shop, of course, uh, Moon Mountain Vapor. 
Um, let me pull up the full, full list okay. so I can actually get it because we have a list of right. Well, that sucks, Dead Eye. Hey, Tech. Hey, Kim. How you doing? I know what you're talking about. It's good to see you, Kim. Uh, of course, we got Beyond Vaping out of Alabama. Mm -hmm. um, Vaporknots.com. Uh, VAP Bar is going to be there. See, and this is why I like to listen to the vendors because there are so many vendors that are out there and I don't know any of them. And it's so weird when you guys start bringing up, like Randy will mention these people and I'm like, what? I've never heard of them. Really? Oh, cool. But it's cool to get to know these other vendors. Yeah, of course. Zen Vapors LLC is going to be there. Leap Vape's going to be there. OKC Vapes, Dark City Vapor, The Vapor Hut, um, Vapor Right, E Pipe Mods, Steam E Cigs, Big Bang E Cigs, uh, Elvin Forest Vapors, um, Mount Baker is going to be there. Oh, really? Vapes Gone Wild, eLickCube.com. E e so there, there's a nice list of vendors that are going to be there selling things. And a lot of different ones because if you like, when you go up to Chicago, they have. It's, it seems like it's always the same one. They've thrown in different ones, but occasionally there's, you know, some odd, different ones that are coming in. So it's nice to hear in different meets, I guess, or different conventions, the different vendors that are out there. Welcome back, Wasabi. And I definitely agree with that. Well, I guess I won't keep you since apparently you have a show to do. And I you're do. Going to be broadcasting and doing whatnot. So everybody, welcome Malachi. See you, Malachi. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for <laughs> having me on. Me. And I hope, and I hope to see a bunch of y'all at Vapor Palooza. Yes. Have a great night. Have a great night, hun. Take care of yourself. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. So, um, one more time. When is the event? I will get that information to you. If you, Fubar, if you go to, oh my God, Fubar, I need to go get the juices that you sent me. Um, well, actually, my, my, my stand. Um, but it is, if you go to, I'll type it. Let's just stop and or go to there. You can go to vapenetworking.com and get all the details of the event. And then go to Peach State Vapors and get more of the information. Yes, I did. And if you give me one second, guys, I will actually go and grab it for you. I wanted to talk about this tonight. I walked into the room dripping in gold. Okay. See, I don't want to open this, and there's a reason why I don't want to open this. And that's why you guys probably sent the letter in there is because this thing is so fucking cool but I don't want to drink it because I don't want to ruin the cork but I really want to taste it or smell it or something but anyways okay as we see Fubar juice and I'm not really anyways so okay and here's the scene as you guys I don't know if you guys know this at, at Fubar but they actually put Vubar and Vubar. I was thinking what would have really been fucking cool is if I had said Texas Tunes Lady. That would rock. But anyways, right under the Vubar. So anyways, as you see, the stand has been cut so that it has this correct angle on the juice. So that it holds it properly. So what you do, and I will, I guess I'm going to have to put the camera down. So you put the base right here. So I'll put it right here, and then you put the bottle right there. Isn't that cool? So it looks fancy as shit too, as well it's kind of like this comedy trick kind of thing, you know, party thing that you're doing for people. And when you have a bait shop or something, like even our, at our shop, I would love to put this in the shop. I don't know if the boss would see it, but we, I know, I know, we lost several bottles trying, several? I knew you guys lost one, but I didn't know you lost so many. Anyway, yeah, I understand now why you had so much trouble because it's a bottle of wine almost. 
so yeah. But needless to say, it fucking rocks and it actually sits in my, in, I have an island in the kitchen. So when I move, I will actually be putting it in the island as well. On the island, I should say, not in the island. But it's really fucking cool, so I appreciate it and thank you. I was shocked that I won the contest. And I was thinking about piffing it, but there's a reason why I didn't piff it. Um, besides, a lot of people know the hard times that I'm going through right now. Uh, I want to expand my horizons on these juice because now I do so much juice. I mean, we got juices at the shop. I can have them anytime, and I do them. But I also have my Gorge Vapors, so I want to try the Super Bar Juice. And I thought it was really cool. I was shocked because I did not know anything about that gravity stand. So thank you. I appreciate it. I and now tell me, um, inside the the where the cork would go, can I take that cork out and shove it back in there so I can at least try the juice? I don't even remember the nicotine I got. I think it was a six. I'm hoping. And it, oh, it does have six nick on it. See, I learned something else. So I can still drip it too. So I'll drip it just a little bit and then I'll put the cork back in. I just don't want to break the seal on it because, like I said, even the seal is nice. <laughs> anyway. Again, thank you. I appreciate it. And it is made my day. Yeah, Randy. This is 750 mils of juice. <laughs> Candy Crush. Oh, do me a favor, Fubar. Why don't you go ahead and put the link into your website so that other people can get to that and check it out. You cannot buy 750 mils and you do not get this fancy stand with it, but Randy, well you do box mods and stands, so you probably can do something with wood in the hole and how to make it, but it's really a great idea. And, but, yes, and Candy Crush, I hear, is really fucking good, so, and I mean, it's got the pretty label on it, and it's, it, but that makes sense, the six nick, I didn't even notice that until tonight, but I love it, and like I said, I don't want to pop it, I wish there was some way where I could pop just the black part so it stays in one piece but anyways yeah so <laughs> I know right Randy okay well since Fubar is not going to type the link let me get the link for it Fubar here okay there's the link and by the way hello everybody that came in that I left, but hello, Skulls Money, Vapors United, Doozy Cat, and Gap and Release. I will, I'm not gonna drip just a little bit, Cam. I will, but I don't. Maybe tomorrow night. I'll do it. Oh, PMU. Okay. Play with, play with A. I'm not even signed in. What the fuck? Um, I thought it was signed in. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to log back in because for some reason I'm trying to send a PM and I can't get in. I look tired. Sorry, guys. I am real tired. We had a busy day today at work. Hey, Sean. Yeah. This whole side chat thing is really weird. Um. What? Here. I'm going to give you my Facebook link. That might be better because in that way I can, I guess, move on with the show. But there you go, Boobar. And I'll message you after the show. Skulls. Cork replacement. I don't want a cork. Wait. Cork replacement. Maybe that might work. 
Oh, those things. No, it's got to keep the seal on it. So somehow I need to like, I need a really long fucking syringe so I can shove the syringe down and then suck some out through the cork. That's another possibility. So while we're on it, sorry, that's Boobar. Now we're gonna go over to mine. Innovative paper. Got my hair has got the wild thing going on today. Sorry guys. Um, what this is is obviously uh you know I was gonna do this. We're gonna do a random chat. Sorry for those in the mod section because you will not be allowed to do this. This is only soon admit you just wanna suck. Uh, that's right. Yes, I like sucking quite well. Speaking of sucking, Sean tried some of my crème brûlée last night. And he likes it, apparently. Because he got a bottle to take home with him to Odessa when I got to meet Sean last night! Okay. <laughs> you don't even come in the shop anymore. So, what has everybody been up to? Hey, Mr. Piculas and Smiley and DS Warts. Oh, Smiley left. Sorry. And so did Mr. Piculas. Anyway, so what has everybody been up to this week? I mean, it is Sunday now. Have there been any vape meets that you guys have attended? And if you did, did you have fun? Vaping and shit and shit. Hey Jack Flash, how you doing? Tell me you've had enough. I'm taking off these gloves. Get down and lick the dust. Hey Vic, how you doing? Yeah, I'm trying to get some of the people on from Okay, Cam, I suggest you tip that. Because you can get my juices anytime you want. That sounded so fucking long. <laughs> yeah, tonight we were gonna last month we were gonna or last week I was gonna have Jack Flash and <laughs> by the way, hello Susan. So what it was was um Jan was supposed to come from the OC Vapors and he didn't, so okay, so I will random. Random again. Nope, sorry, Joel. Did you... Random... Now it's gonna do all of us. Ah! Do you see? I'm going fishing in Freeport next weekend, so I'll stop by and you Okay. Oh! Oh! Kimmy, you need to, Kim, you need to try the uh, juices. DC, I will go through with what you want and what not here in a second, my dear. Kim, we have a new flavor that you won't know about, but we've mixed a creamy banana with my creme brulee mixed with my strawberry drizzle. And apparently it's a cellar, and it is a cellar because that's all I've eaten now, and it's really good. So, just wanted to let you know. But that wouldn't be great in your tank. Um, because we, we do such a low percentage on that one. But I could come up with something for you. Oh, and we do have all of our juices steeping now. So if you get the bunny farts, creme brulee, tiger's blood, fandango, or pucker up, we have them now. They're $22.50 in the shop, but they're steep already. So they're really good. And I know you'd like that bunny farts. Anyways, okay. So what I will do, DC, is I am going to PM you. You are going to have to go to this website. If I can get us back to Bateman. Go to that website. Make an account. 
once you make an account, go ahead and put one of the five flavors that I just mentioned. Creme brulee, bunny fight, Benny, bleh, I can't talk, I sound like Marcy in Paris. Bunny farts, creme brulee, tiger's blood, fandango, and pucker up. Choose one of those five flavors in a 12 mil. And then go, what you do is you put it in your cart. Once you go, then you need to go into your cart. Once you go into your cart, type this coupon code that I'm going to PM you, all lowercase, apply the discount, and you will get that in there. Or you will, you'll get, it'll apply the discount, you'll be able to check out, you'll free check out, and I will get that ready for you tomorrow morning. Okay, DC? Yay? No problem. Hey, Baked Cowboy, and congratulations. And also remember, guys, oh, wait, DC, I think I gave you the wrong coupon code. Let me make sure. My brain is fried. Sorry. I worked today. Yes, I did. And it was a busy day today. We had, I mean, for us, it was busy. We had an, our normal days during the week is kind of what we did today. In other words, it was busy. Okay. Let me make sure that that is the coupon code. No, that is not the coupon code for you. The coupon code for you, DC is that one that will give you your free juice the other one was the 10% discount coupon code I don't think you want that one but anyways make sure you go for the 10% off discount code oh I need to remove the 134 we just sold the 134 anyways I will be bringing in our next guest here to join me so that they can so he can talk about his statements and we will actually get to revisit him because he has been on the show before and we will discuss what happened and how that bait meat was and what not just let me know Kimmy and I'll I'll get it fixed up unless you want to try to speak stuff it's good to see you again Dave Cowboy We might have another contest later. I might do a few tonight. And while we're waiting for our guest, Vic, to come in, we'll just sit here and hang out. So, are you still vaping, Big Cowboy? Hello, Vic, how are you doing? Hey, ladies. What's hey, up? Hang on, I gotta split. Take it over my camera. Yay. You got split running. I just love it. Hey, ladies. What's yeah. Okay, you but look like you've go. changed a little bit since I last talked to you. What did you do? Glasses. Is that it? That's it. Makes you look sophisticated. Older. <laughs> no, I don't think so. This makes you look more sophisticated. <clears throat> so, how was the last bait meet? And, obviously, we're going to talk about the next one, but how was the last one? What all happened? Let's see. Um, last one, we had about 59 to maybe 60 people, somewhere there around. It was a big meet. Um, we're expecting more this coming Friday. The really? Eight. We, uh, uh, we're growing leaps and bounds, um, I, and I think it's just because people are wanting to get their point out. I mean, right. we're vapors, you know, we need to protect ourselves. Yes. It's always good to protect yourselves and get the message out and make sure that just do what you can to stop this crap exactly <laughs> more or less i mean that's fine plain as I, I print about um uh, now with all the vape shows we've got uh, i probably print about to like uh, uh 
I'll probably print about a hundred brochures every four or five weeks from Kassar, fold them. Wow. Uh, take them to the vape shops that don't have them. Mm -hmm. We don't have a way to print them. And we put our Florida advocacy sticker on there. So, right. And our group sticker. So well, that's can, good. Get more people to your places. Yeah. And we just, we, we're actually really growing. It's, it's amazing. This particular vape meet, uh, the owner is doing a $50 first price gift code, and second place will be a $25. Wow! Plus our awesome? food, we have we're grilling hamburgers and hot dogs again this this time. Yum! Um, and we we actually have a good turnout for it. It's amazing. Now, do you ever do potlucks to where like you guys would do the burger, the meat part, and then of course everybody else bring a side dish? Or how does... We do it right the opposite. He has the grill there at the shop. Uh-huh. So he cooks the hamburgers and hot dogs right on the side. Oh. And we all bring uh, a side dish. Uh-huh. Like my... I'm this time supposed to bring uh, Coke, Sprite, and something else. Uh, and I'm bringing deviled eggs as well. Yum. So everybody brings, you know, something to go with the hamburgers and hot dogs. That's awesome. Gap, if you go to the Panama City Vapors, um, Vape Meets, uh, City Meat and, and Vape up there at the top, you can go there by typing it and you can see the information. But it's in, can you, for the our viewer, he would like to know where in Florida. We are actually in Panama City. Um, what is the, where is the place that you will be? Our cool Vapors okay. is the location. Oh. Uh, it's on 23rd, right across from the hospital. If you find the hospital, you you found the vape shop. Right. <laughs> it's right um, there. Just follow the ambulances. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be August 8th at 306 West 23rd Street in Panama City. And Correct. it's going to be at Cool Vapors in Panama City. Right. And uh, also to let everybody know, it is the second Friday of the month, correct? That is correct. Okay. Yep. And we actually have a, a couple of other of our shops now that are doing not necessarily vape meats, but one of our other vape shops is doing collab loading contests. Um, we advertise those and we also attend. Uh, they're not as big an event. But the main uh, the main group meets the second Friday of every month. That's our, you know. And then if somebody has something in between, we all try to go. It doesn't always work out, but we try. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds like you've had a good time and you're having a good time. I get to see pictures and whatnot people post in the in the in the group, and that's always fun to see. Yep. Um, we put everything on our Facebook page. Uh, I think we're up to right around 180 members now. So wow! Uh, when we started this last year, uh, about uh, we've been there now. I think about 14 months. Uh, it's been a while. 14, 13 or 14? Not maybe not, maybe 13. Uh -huh. I'm 19. Almost 20 months of vape. Vaping, oh really? So, <laughs> so you can kind of gauge it off of that. It's getting confusing. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, it, it's amazing how we've grown in such a short time, uh, uh -huh. which goes to show you that more and more people are vaping. And that is, and it makes you feel happy when you see those numbers go up. I mean, <clears throat> and it's not just in groups, it's even in like the sales that I've, I kind of been doing that with sales is looking at how, and I'm not looking at the amount, I'm just looking at the number because it shows right there that you're reaching out to more and more people and getting right. them to stop smoking and it's it's a natural high well it is and i, I i'm retired now so i get to hang out at the vape shops quite a bit mm -hmm. and i do i travel around you know different shops and uh, i really enjoy the first vapor when they're coming in the door you know uh -huh. Uh, and they're going, is this really going to help me? You know, and you talk to them for a little while and they go, what was your experience? Uh -huh. and I said, well, you know, 
I started with what you're buying now. The key I found was the juice. Uh huh. And there's a juice bar right there. Go find one you think you can vape all day and go go at it. You know? Right. And of course, um, taste <laughs> change and all that stuff. But it's still just the natural high of seeing them try flavors, even. And it like they'll taste uh, one flavor and like, oh, this is really good. Taste another one. Ah, no. <laughs> Well, they call me the greeter now. That's my, that's sort of my... The big my chop greeter. Um, <laughs> and uh, so I said, cool about the cool vapors, would you like a baggie? Right. <laughs> that's cool. Like somebody's going to need to fill a buggy, but you never know. Right, right. right. <laughs> that's really cool. So, well, what else have you been working on besides the Florida area? Anything? I mean, are there more shops popping up? As a matter of fact, we have one supposed to open Monday. Really? Uh, it was due to open Friday, but they've had a lot of issues with a firewall. Oh, lovely. That the guy, uh, the owner of the building, didn't quite do right. So the poor guy, I feel kind of sorry for him because he's paid rent for two months now. And now when he comes right down to stocking his shelves and putting everything in to get, open his door, it's failing, you know. Right. And that's just part of city government. I don't care what you, you deal with or what type of business. Right. But, you know, it, it's a hardship on you, but yet uh, to be ready to open, he can't open the door yet. But it's going to be another cool shop. It's going to be... Uh, it, Do they it, have a name for it yet? Yes. It's called PCB Vapors. Okay. And that's okay, for good. Panama City Beach. They're, they're actually on the beach side of town. Oh, wow. So they'll they'll get some activity oh, yeah. from tourism and the, there's a lot of people that live on the beach year round. So um, we might lose some of our attendance because of that. That um, he's he comes to our vape meet. So you know the thing is is the they won't conflict as far as the day goes. I, mean, well, I know that for a fact. So. I just may have to go to more vape meets. <laughs> right? It's always fun to go to more vape meets. Believe me, I miss them so bad. That's okay with me. I'm, uh, you know, if I'm free, uh, I'm, I don't have a problem with it. I, I, uh... I'm doing great. Angry how are you? This is Vic. He is from the Panama City Meet and Date Group. Right. And they are talking about, it was they, he is talking about his vape meet that's getting ready to happen on Thursday. Uh, August 8th. Friday, August 8th. Yes, Friday, August 8th. <laughs> hey, James. Yeah, I think it's that, Randy. I'm having issues with that as well. How are you today, Angry? <clears throat> so, uh, let's see, what else? So, what kind of things do you do at your date meet? Anything out of the ordinary at Cool Vapors? Um, well, it's just depends on the night. Uh, if they sell a lot of, uh, we have a lot of people. It's either an extreme right or left. Okay. It's a beginner or somebody that wants something a little better than a beginner mod, or they're wanting to, to build some coils. Welcome back, Malte. And that's a lot of fun we we all sit around and we build coils you know at times all right. uh, they have a coal building table uh, what I think is cool about the shop is if you buy an R RBA uh -huh. um, they'll ask you what do you want to put in it you know and they'll build it your first one for you and show you how to build it that's nice that and is. you know that's being safe too they also make sure oh, yeah. you have the right battery for what coal you want in it exactly you know? You don't, hey Jibba, you don't want a 0 0.1, 0 0.2 ohm coil without a good proper battery because. Yeah, I wanna, I'm going to put that on my ego. <laughs> oh God, right? Well, you know, we actually had a customer that came in and he wanted a 1.2 build and he wanted it on, or no, it was a point, it was a 0 0.5 or whatever it was above because he put it on the MVP2. So, and I thought that was just crazy. Hey, Celtic. I didn't, and hey Sapphire, I didn't know if it would be good, if it would work, how it would work out. And it it blew clouds on the MVP too. It was crazy. 
Oh well, yeah, it's you know it's it's um it's the right. But if you think about it, right? Exactly. Right. I mean, I can do that even if I wanted to put it on my bamboo. As long as the button will fire, it pretty much will work. But yeah. I'm just, I'm just not a cloud blowing person. I mean, I never have been. Uh, for the main reason is that I don't like the heat. Don't you know. You know, I, I like a warm vape, but I prefer a throat hit over anything. Right. That's what got me off cigarettes, so... I get that, I, and that's why I do either the cargo or I do dripping. I'm, I'm a K-Fine or a driver. I'm, I'm doing the Slayer tonight. I have the... The tow oh. at a much lower. It's down to, I think, 2.2. Oh, really? But, it was really, really warm vape, so I had to get a glass tip for it. It was yep. never too See, hot. And now, what ohm did you say that was? This is at a point two. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Even on my point nine, I mean, it's okay, but when I'm using my Stingray here that I got from uh, Vape 108, I vape on this thing, and oh my god, it gets so hot. But I don't mind that either because I like that hot vape. Right. Well, I normally build my K-Funds for my uh, Hannah's at about 0.6, and right. I'm doing it to 22 watts, so. Yeah, I do, on mine, I do 0.9, and I do the full 30 watts. I really like it. I don't like yeah, the cut my <clears throat> We have quite a few people that come from out of town. We're not too far from Alabama. Mm-hmm. Panama City is in the northern part of Florida. Okay. Uh, in the little bend there. We're between Pensacola and Tallahassee, so okay. we have some Alabama yeah, folks. Um, we yeah, have some um, Fort Walton. Uh, you know, I we love Fort Walton. Driving Fort Walton. Yeah. <laughs> and by having it on Friday, if, if people don't work late, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it gives them a, a something to do that night, you know, come over to Panama City. And a lot of fun. Yeah, get a room, we're a tourist town, get a room, spend the weekend on the beach. So, you know, we, I think that's what's really making us grow. Plus, we, I, I put a tremendous yeah. amount of uh, what's going on with Casa and whatnot, you know, mm -hmm. and um, get out there and do your part. Mm. Now, when you have, when, say, those new people come in, to, uh, Paris isn't here, but when um, you have new the, the new people come in, do you educate them on CASA or and start overloading them, I guess, with the information, or do you kind of just give them some of the details? Well, we have in all the vape shops I take is I don't know if you're familiar with the Tripol CASA brochure. It's free that you can print. No. Because I, on their store page, uh -huh. has a PDF, I think it's a PDF format, yeah. and you can print it front back, and then <clears throat> fold it into where it's into like a little folder. Three piece, right. Yeah. And that's where I print a sheet of labels that puts our Florida Ag Advocacy Group's Facebook address, and then again, our um, local group's address on it. I will have to get that information and, over there. And we keep, I keep a ton of those everywhere. Uh, on the vape bar, on the... Um, I mean, it's a great tool, for especially our new vapor. It tells you oh, everything, yeah. everything um, what to expect, you know. Uh, so, yeah, we give a lot of those things away. I, I, I print more of those than I probably print anything. Wow. And, of course, I do it at my cost, and, and I put them in any vape shop that calls me and tells me they're out. Oh, that's really that's cool. cool. And that's really giving. Hopefully. Yeah, and, and that's what I want to do is, I mean, it got me off of cigarettes. I want to get as many people that can possibly get off of them. Right. And if it takes extra help, you know, like, hit me on Facebook. I'll be glad to tell you how to build a coal. Um, what you're doing wrong if you've got a problem with your, your mod, you know, it's not hitting right or whatnot. And most of all, you'll hear me preach about batteries. Right. Well, I get that. I mean, I 
I've had people into the shop before that are like, I start talking ohms because they sound like they're professional or pro vapes or I don't know how to explain it. Like they're not newbies. Right. And they come in and then I start, so I start talking ohms, I start talking resistance, I start talking battery amperage and they're like, what's that? And I just smack my head. I'm like, really? I was like, okay, apparently you have not been in our shop before because if you had, you would have known all this information. Right, and you can tell when somebody doesn't even sell them, sell them in the air. Right. And that's where you steer them away from it. I mean, you know, um, there was a guy not too long ago, about a month ago as a matter of fact, uh, he bought an Ego, I mean, a starter kit. He got two batteries, two heads, bottle of juice, and I just happened to be in there the other day when he was back in. He says, I'm ready. <laughs> right. He's not <all> clowns. <laughs> and uh, they asked him what type of work he did. And he said, well, I, I drive all day. And he says, well, gripping is really not something yeah. you can do, you know, safely. And uh, <clears throat> so he ended up buying k -Pod. Oh, awesome. And uh, that'll you know, he, still give them the flavor, of course. Yeah, and, and when he built that, they, they built that thing, I think, down for a, I think it was at a 2.9, almost a 3. Wow. Uh, three. And, so and he was blowing huge clouds out of the k -Pod. Right. And he laughed at me, he says, why don't you do yours? I said, well, one, my hand won't fire on your 3.3. Three. Right. And that's my carry around device, usually. Oh. And I said, uh, Two, I said, it's really quite warm. He goes, yes, it is a warm vape. <laughs> <laughs> it is. But, it is crazy how the even at that resistance, the vape is so warm. Because I remember starting out at 1.5, and I thought that was warm. And now I'm at 0.2, and it's hot as shit. Just we, to have, uh, we have two of our ladies that come every week. And I mean, every month. And she's, uh, they're twin sisters, actually. Oh, cool. And both of them vape, and uh, and I'm I'm not sure their age. I'm gonna guess they're retired, probably mm -hmm. 60, probably my age. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, the one of the sisters has just got her first grouper. Oh wow! She loves it. She went to the cloud blowing. <laughs> Didn't win, but she did a really really good job, you know. And, and it amazes me that uh, you know people are. So are cool. You know, and I mean, she's been vaping long enough to know the safety of it. Right. So, you know, there was no issue with that. So. Right. That is so cute that when people do that and whatnot. It is, and, and you know, she's. It's, it's so funny because they're always there. There are in every vape paint we have, and uh, they're sort of the life of the party. You know, she's, oh, cool. she'll tell her. She'll tell her sister. She'll go. <clears throat> that wasn't even a cloud. <laughs> you know, of course, her, her sister's vaping a small tank, you know. Right. <laughs> Giving her sister shit, more or less. <laughs> Got a lot of that sister shit. Right. But, you know, we, we do. We have a good time. We're looking to grow. We want to get everybody, you know, that's vaping in the meats just so they can, you know, have some have some group questions. Fun. Yeah. You know, it, if nothing else, just fellowship of coming in and vaping with everybody. Right, and I love just, and it's like today was Sunday, it, it, it was not too busy, so there were times today that we were able to just sit down and chill with the rest of the group that were in there, because we had some of our regular customers in, and we just got to sit back and chill, and all of a sudden you see these big clouds, of course, everywhere. Oh yeah, and then you we get open the new... have to open the doors occasionally and let the let the air clear out for a little bit. <laughs> yep, and you and, and it's yeah, and then you get but then you get the the new vapors that come in or the new people that haven't started vaping and they're like, oh my god, it's so cloudy in here. I said, but yeah, at least it smells good. <laughs> yes, it does, and it's <laughs> it a combination. Like cigarettes. Too. I mean, it's, oh, I it's know, really good. Yeah, they all kid me because I have a. It's probably, I don't know, it's, it's like a thermos, but yet it's not. It's a great big cup with a straw in it. And it probably holds maybe a half gallon of water, maybe a little uh -huh. left. And that's always the first thing I come in the door with at vape meets. And they go, 
what do you do? What do you got in there? And I said, it's water. You got to stay hydrated. <laughs> yep. That is another big thing. They call me the water Nazi at work. Yep. Because I remember when I first started vaping, how chapped my lips got. And and how dehydrated I really was. And I mean, before, I never rarely drank water at all because I fucking hate tap water. Yeah. But, and I really just drank tea, but tea kind of dehydrates you too. It like gives you that cotton mouth kind of thing. Right. And I don't know what happened, but I became the water Nazi. Now, every time somebody will start, once they get to three or four flavors and I can subconsciously see what they're doing and I'm not really paying attention, I say, go get some water. Yeah. You need water because you need to clean your palate because that yeah. flavor is going to taste exactly like this flavor. Mm-hmm. So it, it's funny that... <laughs> well, some of our shops here, they've got this thing, and, and, and they're, uh, I'm not mentioning names, but they don't <clears throat> participate in anything. Um, they don't want you to bring them any brochures, and but they'll give you two tries to find a flavor. And I know two when tries? I first started, two tries didn't even begin to get me where I was, to where I could quit smoking. You mean they have to? They can only get one or two items. They oh, I want to try this and hit it, and I want to try this and hit it. And you can only do that twice. Twice. Okay. If you can't make a decision on which two you like, you get one or the other. And you know that's. Oh, wow. I think I went through six before I found one that I thought was close enough to a tobacco flavor, uh -huh. a nicotine, nicotine level that was going to get me off the That is just odd. I didn't buy anything from that shop. I went somewhere else. You would have to because... I mean, I just, you know, he, he said, well, that's it. That's all you get. And I said, well, I didn't like either one of them. And he goes, well, you can, I, I can tell you, this is our tobacco. I said, well, let me try it. And he goes, no, we only, you only get two tries. Uh, and I thought, okay. And I said, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like almost feeling pressured to buy something, but yet yeah. don't. I'd be like, what? Yeah, I, I, no. It is goofy, Paula. I agree. I would yeah, not. That's, that's, you know, that's goofy. It, it really is. And, and, because it, and, the whole objective of the store is, should be, you know, to help them right. just get off cigarettes. And get that one special flavor that they really like that's going to help them stop. Exactly. That, yeah. If you go in, if you go in I, I can name three or four stores right now. If you go in, if they've got 50 flavors, if they've got 100, mm -hmm. you can try every one of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, until you find the flavor that you're looking oh, for. Oh, yeah. I you have... Know, I was going to say is I have this one customer that comes in all the time and he comes up to me and goes, what, I said, well, what flavor, I said, would you like to try flavors? He's like, no, just pick me one. Uh, let me tell you, I'm running out of things to pick for him. Yeah. But at least he likes my stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, there's, there's several that do that. They'll, they'll walk in the door and they'll go, uh, I just want a tobacco. Exactly. Or menthols. Well, you know, there's seven different just menthols. Right one shot that I know of and, and I'm thinking well you know this one's heavy this one's light uh, this is a unique one that has different this or that yeah, this has got some lemon with it you know mm -hmm. you better try it you know and, yeah uh, you know it's it, people amaze me sometimes but yep if it keeps them off and it works that's fine. Exactly. I had a lady yesterday uh, that I was in there. I think it was Wednesday, and uh, she was uh, she had been vaping for three weeks. I think she said not smoked at all and had no problem. But she decided it was time for something a little better because she wasn't getting the cigarette hit. Right. She wanted, and the guy told her, said, "Well, how was it before?" When you started, she says, oh, it was fine then. And he goes, well, he says, let's try something. So he dumped her tank and put a new head in, put her juice back in there. And she goes, oh, that's wonderful. That's, <laughs> that's like brand new. And he goes, well, this little head right here has to either be rebuilt or replaced. And uh -huh. we don't rebuild them. So here's, right. you can buy a package of five, you know. Right. 
affected by one hit. So. That's so cute. It just tickled pink, I mean, you know, but had she not come back, you would never know, you know? Right. And, and I know I, I know when she bought it, they told her about the heads needing a place. But people forget this. Right. When they get the paper. Especially when they're brand new and a little bit older. Mark. And they're not really remembering stuff like that. They're just looking for that fix to help them off the cigarettes and keep them off the cigarettes. They're not thinking about 10 other parts that freaking go to the damn e-cigarettes. <laughs> exactly. And she got her kit the night of our last vape meet. So oh, okay. It was probably, and it's a little, a little noisy in there when you have 50 people in, mm -hmm. in a room. You know, and she may not have heard everything that they told her, but, you know, she was just tickle pink that they fixed her tight for her, you know? Right. Okay, Fubar says, that's my favorite part of going into the bait shop is to sit at the bar and try all the different flavors. Yeah, I do that too. My only problem is I can't bait PG. Oh, you can't? Not at all. At all? At all. Oh my God, that sucks. I am so allergic to it. And, wow. Uh, I found that into my third or second month of vaping. Wow. And I finally found some pure VG with good flavoring and that's pretty much where I've been ever since. So you're doing like the organic types like from Virgin Vapor to where they're 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 one hundred percent VG, even the flavoring is VG. Where I found my my first what my successful freight was Alien Visions. Okay. Boba's Bounty. Oh boy. Yeah, we all know about Boba's Bounty if we all <laughs> seen Bill Bizarro's videos. <laughs> yes, and that's what I am still vaping to this day. I wow. still I do a other VGs, but this the this is my favorite all day vape. I mean, it'll, it, every now and then, you know, it'll it'll start tasting the same. Now I'll, I'll put a tank of something different in there and vape that during the day, but for the most part, I come back to this. Wow. Well, hey, whatever works, right? Mm -hmm. As long as you're happy, whatever works, you need to talk of it. I probably have uh, 600 mils of this. Is, what size is that? 100. That is? That's wow. 100 mils. Okay. Turn it around. It kind of looks little, though, in your hands. Yeah, well. But that's cool. What that's a small bottle there. Oh, okay. So, Hoosier would like to know what he got, what kind of allergic reaction do you get? <clears throat> what happens first? Oh, uh, the minute I when I the minute I vape the PG, my throat tingles. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, and I can tell you immediately it's got PG in it. Um, that would suck. If I continue vaping it, okay. um, my tongue will start itching and then eventually my lips will have, have what feel like blisters. Oh no. You don't feel them. There's nothing actually there, but they feel like they're stinging. Wow. And usually a big glass of water will clear that right up. Really? But you can't drink a glass of water with every vape. No, you can't. It'd be like a hit and a vape drink, hit vape drink, hit a vape drink. You'd have to toothpaste it all the time. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I've got a friend in California, and he gets the allergy on his arms and leg. Okay. And, but he gets little bumps. Like hives or something like almost? Like hives, yeah. Like a, like a rash. Well, that's good to know, though, for other people that might have that. I mean, we've got a couple people that are allergic to the PG, but they can at least do some of it. So that's why we've actually come out with our own, you know, we've decided we have enough bottles now to where we can do like a 30, 70 or the 20, 80s. Yeah. Now, generally, I can do if, let's say, a, a, PG, a, a juice affects me that is 50 50. Mm -hmm. I can usually if, if the maker will make and I like the juice and the maker will do it say a 30 70. Yeah. And uh, and back then though you, know, you gotta think this I'm, I've been baking in almost 20 months. Wow. Back in that time frame you got 50 50. That was it. Right. There were a few people that made 
hundred percent VG. Right. And uh, or even would talk to you about making something with higher VG. That is so VG. true. And uh, but <clears throat> the weird thing is, I can sit at the juice bar and not know what's what, other than a name on it. And I can vape it and immediately tell you if it's going to have a reaction. Some of it doesn't affect me, and some of it does. Huh. So I think it's got something to do with the flavoring in the PG as well. Yeah, it sounds like it. Like, I know Cherry does it to me. Ugh. Yeah. But uh, generally, if it's a really, really 50-50 uh, uh, blend, pretty much all of it will sting back in my throat. Oh. Okay, well, uh, I hate to cut this off. Vic, I know you do. Time and I is... enjoyed myself again. Well, <laughs> it's always nice to have you on here, and I hope that you do have a great time at your vape meet coming up this week. Again, on Thursday. And and Friday. Friday. I, why do I, you know, I'm we still stuck back. Thursday. I know, and, and that's why Friday. I'm still stuck. On it. I'm still thinking it's Thursday from back when we used to do it Thursday. Yep. <laughs> so, okay, well, have a good time on Friday, and we will talk to you very soon. And thank you again for showing up. You're more than welcome. It was fun to be here. It's always fun to have you. I'll talk to you soon, honey. You have a good night. Bye. Bye bye. And that is Vic with our Panama City Meat and Bait. So, what else is everybody doing? So, Fubar, what are you vaping on tonight? Do you vape a lot of your juices or all your juices? And it's so quiet in the room. You guys are so quiet listening. And Paula, I would like to say thank you for pipping out the show every week or every time you're on the show you pimp it out actually you do it a lot of other times but thank you i appreciate that you try all kinds of juice okay well that's good i am i'm getting ready to bring on our next but in the meantime actually i'm going to do an, in about half an hour i'll do another one Monster Mist. Okay. If it has the monster in it as Monster Mist, I probably wouldn't like it. I am so glad you enjoy it, Paula. Since we're running about five minutes behind, I'm going to grab our next guest. Since we're pretty much on time with that. And as we're sitting here waiting for him to show up. So... What are you vaping on tonight, Paula? Anything new? Anything exciting? And I'm glad, Randy. And I love you. Well, it means a lot to me, Paula. I'm doing tonight, I, like I said, I mentioned earlier, I'm doing a creme brulee with, it's a creamy banana mixed with my strawberry drizzle that I have at the shop. And I actually have, you know the cotton? Hey, Kevin. I'll tell you the story in a little bit. I don't want to interrupt Kevin. How you doing? Kevin looks so serious, and he looks a bit frozen over there, doesn't he, guys? Yes. He might have to exit and come back in and refresh. Jerry? Oh, I've heard about that. Okay, Kevin. Yes, can you hear me? I can hear you. And you're really slow over there. Oh, uh, sorry. Hopefully it picks up. Yes, it is picking up. So how have you been? I've been doing great. How have you been? You've been super busy from all those freaking pictures that you've been taking. Uh, yes, a little bit. <laughs> so you've been traveling some? Um, yeah, we went to we went and did the VCC event in Springfield, Massachusetts <laughs> at the end of June, so that was good. How was that, by the way? Besides all the pictures that I saw, how did it go? Uh, it went really well. Um, it was a very good event uh, for our first event ever in the Northeast. Um, right. They haven't had anything like a big convention up that way before, so um, yeah, it went over really well. Okay, well, now, did, happy. You, did you get the attendance? And that's what I heard some people talking about. Was the attendance less than you expected or more than you expected? Uh, the first day was about a thousand. Second day was about a thousand as well, which was um, the first day was about what I expected. The second day I thought we'd have a little more, right. but again, when you're breaking into a, a place that's exactly. never had it, people really didn't know what to expect, and 
And something uh, I had a lot new. of comments from people that said, uh, that were vendors that came as attendees. They were hesitant about getting a booth, uh -huh. but they said, you know, they'll definitely be there next year. So that's, that's awesome. Good. And you know, yeah. usually that's the way the way it is. People. People are just kind of feeling it out, scoping it out, seeing how things are, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, we're really digging this, and then there, everybody's going home for it. Yeah, absolutely. That's pretty much the way it went. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be back in Massachusetts again next year. Of course, they're having the the. Uh, there's some legislation that's right um, in Going the works right up there now. right now, so. Mm -hmm. We'll see if it's still allowed or not. Um, you know, we're trying to get uh, we we're trying to get Vista, this, which is another thing that I started working on in April. That I started with a couple of you know Dimitri and TD from Moon Mountain Vapor and um, Ray. Um, we're trying to get lobbyists in every state, um, but you know we have wow. to get um, vendors on board, and uh, we could be fighting for them right now. So we really need to get um, vendors to sign up for Vista, VistaTruth.org, so that we can get lobbyists in the now, states to I'm help fight these type of things that are going on. Okay, now say that again. It's http://www.vistatruth.org. Vista truth. Mm -hmm. org. Correct. Okay. And I will actually open this and bookmark it because I would like to, since we're actually, since you know, obviously I'm in the vaping industry as well, not just with our shows and vape meets and events, but also with, you know, being a vendor now. Um, right. I, I'm glad you're actually, well, I'm always glad to have you on, but it's good that you have some information that even I can use. <laughs> So yeah, we're trying to get the. We, we it's it's going to be it's an industry only alliance. We do have um, an opening for um, the general public if they want to help support what we're doing. They can uh, join as an affiliate member. It's only fifty dollars a year for a person to join. Okay. So we encourage that obviously, but the bulk of the support we're hoping to get from industry, you know, vape shops and manufacturers, either good makers and, and stuff like that. And this is to help fund then lobbyists in all the states. Correct. That's our goal. That is fucking so, awesome, Kevin. If we, ha yeah, thank you. If we had um, some vendors on board in Massachusetts, we could have a lobbyist fighting against this legislation that they oh have. Oh my right God, now. guys! So. Okay, get this information out because Paula, you know, I know that you're doing a lot of stuff down there in Arizona, and Randy out there in Alabama, Fubar. Hoosier, I mean everybody. This is something that you guys can pass this information to. It's yeah, for absolutely. all the states. All mm -hmm. the states. So uh, what to, what Dimitri did in Tennessee was he started the Tennessee Smoke Free Association (TSFA) and um, they're a 501c3, which means they can't directly hire hire lobbyists, but they can join Vista, which they have done, uh -huh. and we're in the process of trying to see if we see about getting a lobbyist in Tennessee God, um, through Vista. That would fucking be badass. So if, any, if anyone else can do that in their own states, if they want to organize something statewide, because it is a lot easier for people at a statewide level to organize something like that than for, it is for Vista to try to go out and get every, you know, vendors right. in all 50 states, which is growing daily. So but if, if, we, if, we can, if, we can, if you can get an association formed in your state, and get, get you can go around and visit your local vendors and have them sign up to the association, then we'll have you sign up as an association fee to Vista and then... We'll work on getting the lobbyists from Vista's perspective. That is so we, cool. we actually have a lobbyist in Florida already, Capital Access. It's headed by Jerry Paul and uh, one, a guy, another guy that I've known for about 15 years. His name is Jamie Miller uh -huh. and uh, Rob Shave. Those are the three guys that are involved in Capital Access, and um, they've been representing Vista since um, we formed in April, actually. So, that and they actually helped us with some legislation in Florida. So, really? Um, yep. Short notice, we got God. things done. That gets me super stoked because I know that we would need something like down here in Texas. And it's not just, I don't know, now would, because Texas is so freaking huge. Would mm -hmm. that cut, would that lobbyist just affect Texas as a whole in travel or do you need it for certain cities? No, it'd be, we would have the lobbyists in the state capitol. Okay, so, I get you. Yeah. And, but they would, you know, hopefully we'll be able to have the lobbyist if, you know, depending on how much money we're able to get from the vendors in each state, we would be able to get the lobbyist to Shit, I monitor. Think vendors would be throwing money at your ass. Because... Yeah, you would think so, but it, it's it's been a tough uphill climb, and we, we really need support. We need vendors to sign up and go to vistatruth.org and sign up and support the organization so that we can hire. I, I think people take for granted what we have now in the vaping industry and, huh. and 
how free it's been, but it's, it, you know, our point is to be proactive and get ahead of it and help write the legislation, not just have exactly. to abide by what the people tell us to do. So. And, you know, and I think that that's what I, when I'm doing, Terry and I've talked before, and I hear him talk, you know, periodically with his shows and whatnot, is mm-hmm. the amount that, it's like starting a revolution and you got to have more people there and if i i want to be there up in that forefront to where i can help this movement because then you have all the slackers in the background that are sitting there blowing clouds and i'm not saying blowing clouds are wrong at all because i do but we need more people that are more active in this because your rights are going to be fucking taken right if you don't fight well, unfortunately, um, there are there are few that try to do for the many, and uh, we get worn thin, kind of. You know, I also do the vaping conventions, vaping right. convention circuit, and um, I'm a co-owner of a store in Tampa that we just moved, which is why I came on tonight to talk right. about digital fit. But <laughs> um, so I mean, we're, we're all spread pretty thin, and if the, if we were to share that burden amongst all the vapors that are out there, instead of a few people trying to do it all, it would just make it a lot easier for our cause. But it would. Yeah. I agree. So, on for the bait meets and events, uh, right. and your new store. That's right. And I am so excited. What what had you switch? Why did you go from this store to this store? Is it because you've been growing? Well, no, we were in Temple Terrace for, since since May of 2013. Um, so it's just just a little more than a year, and uh, we were looking to get into a busier area of Tampa. And um, when the real estate agent we were working with found a place in Ybor City on Seventh Avenue, if you're familiar with Tampa at all, that is the party capital of Tampa Bay. Okay. So there's nightclubs, and they're open, they're rocking on the weekends. You know, usually Thursday through Saturday night, Sunday morning they're rocking. Oh, so. Wow. We found the location. We did a lot of work in the last week and a half to get it renovated into a bait shop, yeah. and it looks fantastic. So we're really pleased with the progress we've made in the last week and a half, and we're ready to blow Ebor up. It's going to be great. I think it will be. Um, yeah. I'm going to grab the links as well, so people do not have to type those links in. Yeah, we don't have a lot of uh, finished pictures yet, but I'll try to get you some if you want to post them up later. We actually have a lot of lighting installed. And there's still there's still some finishing touches to do before our grand opening this Friday. It's going to be uh, August 8th from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. We'll have a DJ. We'll have, you know, a lot of stuff for people to do. It'll be a really fun event. I was wondering, so now, are you are you going to have food trucks or are you not? Are you going to have drinking or are you not? I mean, how does it, well, how do your yeah. men- you're we can't sell. We're not going to sell. It's not really a meet. It's a grand opening for digital. Yeah. But everyone's inv- invited to come. You know, obviously all the vapors in the area. We've advertised it on Tampa Bay Vapors, which is a group that I started about six months ago, and it's actually grown to about 460 members. So Holy hopefully crap. we get some people to, to turn out for that. And um, we'll probably have, you know, if you're over 21, you, you can, you know, get like a free beer, a couple right. beers or whatever. And we'll do some hors d'oeuvres. And we, I, like I said, we have a wow. DJ coming. It so. sounds like it's going to be a freaking awesome time. It is. Hey, when you're in Ebor, you got to do what the Romans do, right? So we're going to party like the Ebor. <laughs> and so, plus, we put a lot of work into it too, so we're ready to unwind a little bit. Right. Try and relax after that, because yeah, you guys we actually, were pounding that stuff out so fast. I was like, really? It yeah, seems well, like I'm you actually, done in three days. This is like a collaboration we did with um, once. I, once I told TD and Adam from Moon Mountain Vapor that we were going to be moving to Ebor, they were excited about it. So it's actually digital hits featuring Moon Mountain Vapor now that we're in Ebor. Oh, cool. So, yeah. They've been involved, you know, a little bit from the beginning and, and have invested in our move down that way and some of the renovations that we've done. And we've got um, their whole line of liquid there from the Mountain Vapor. So it's, yeah, it's really good. That's cool. So, okay. So, uh, let's see. Have you been passing okay. out flyers and stuff around the yeah, area? Yeah, we've had... Yeah, we've had, um, uh, there's a couple of people that I know that have some media outlets in Tampa that we're going to advertise hopefully on this week. And oh, good we had we, we paid some um, people that are locals there to go around and hand out flyers to people who are partying in Ebor this weekend. And we had some oh, pretty good um, come back, you know, replies from right. that. So that's good. We're doing, you know, all service industry. If you're a bartender, wait staff, anything like that, chef, cook, anything like that in the Ebor area or Tampa Bay area. You're going to get 10% off all the time at Digital Hits because we appreciate the hard work that they put in. And they see a lot of people, too. So it's a, it's good for us to try to get oh, people yeah. off smoking. If they're smoking in a bar and they say, hey, you know, you can vape, check out Digital Hits. They're right up the road. So. Wait a minute. So you can still va- you can smoke in the in the bars down there? If or they're you- not serving food, yes. If it's just a, like a nightclub, you can, yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. I did not know that. 
and the, and the club it. the club owners obviously appreciate it. they allow you to vape inside obviously because it smells much better than cigarettes oh hell yeah yeah so we'll go meet with some of the club owners and we're gonna just try to you know um just do some general marketing and tell people people already know what we're in tampa but um, right. we just gotta let them know that now that we're in ebor city so right well, that makes sense. Okay. So, what time is it again? Uh, it's this Friday, August eighth, from seven p.m. to two a.m. Oh wow, two a.m. Yeah. We're going to be open um, during the week. Or we expanded our hours, but on Friday and Saturdays now we're going to be open from twelve noon till two a.m. So we'll have fourteen hour days that on Fridays and Saturdays. That is fucking nuts, Kevin. It is. It's going to be <laughs> great. Thing. And then um, after that, um, this week I'm going to get back. I've been um, working, you know, as well on the next vaping convention that we're doing. Uh -huh. BCC is putting on Chattanooga, Tennessee, Ooh. October 4th and 5th. Um, so we're working on that. It's co-presented by Mountain Oak Vapors. Awesome. And we've got a lot of good sponsors and vendors on board already. So if anyone's interested in jumping on board for that, it's vapingcc.com. You can get all the information you need there. Um, it's going to be a really, really good event. Looking forward to that. All your events are good so far, and you should be yeah. proud of yourself. I know, I'm, like I said, I've told you before, I'm proud of you, that how you Thank started you. it from the very beginning, and it has just blown up and it keeps getting bigger and bigger because you're traveling and doing so much to organize yeah. that. So Idle hands make the devil's work, so I try to stay busy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, I know that. So anyways, well... Thanks for coming and hanging out. Yeah, I mean, you can hang out and bullshit with me some more, or you can go. It doesn't matter. But I don't want to take too much of your time. I know no, you're I'll come back on though. Again, uh, maybe in a few weeks we can do something where we just talk about Chattanooga and um, yeah, you know, get a little bit we talk about time. Chattanooga because we always love talk. I love talking about it because of course that's where Dimitri is. Maybe I can grab you and Dimitri and we can talk. about Oh yeah, that. that would be great. Okay, well then that's what I'll do. Is it maybe Phil Basardo on there as well? Like, I talked him into doing a really cool charity event for Chattanooga. He you know oh, he used really? to own his own nightclub and he was right. a DJ. Right. DJ Miami was his name. So uh, we we brought DJ Miami out of retirement for 100% uh, of the proceeds from this um, nightclub that. event. We're doing that, yeah. So 100% of proceeds proceeds to tobacco harm reduction. I think Still that going is going to be super cool too. It's going to so, be great. You can get tickets for $25. Like I said, 100% to tobacco harm reduction. So it's great. We thank Phil for doing that too. Well, then yeah. maybe maybe he'll give me some time. I doubt it, but maybe he will. And well, I, we'll hopefully see. Dimitri will be back from Greece. I know that. Yeah. He, I don't he's back, know I, think in the, uh, I think he's back early this week sometime. Okay. I wasn't too exactly sure. I did see that he posted today that today was the last day for the beach. So mm -hmm. hopefully then we can bring him on too. And yep. we'll have a, 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 a sausage fest with me involved. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks well, for Well, we coming. might need to give him some free time. Yeah, absolutely. Right? We, we do need to give him free time. Yeah. Okay. I'll Kevin. talk to you soon, Jim. Take care, thanks, babe. Bye. We'll see you soon. All right. Bye. Have good fun at the grand opening. Bye. Bye. And that was Kevin. Hey, Metal, how you doing? Can we throw eggs at Phil? You cannot throw eggs at Phil. Why would you do that, Randy? He's a good guy. Randy. So how have you been, Metal? Okay. So. I am doing well today. It was. I'm actually very fucking tired. I was up all night long, and then I slept until 7 o'clock, which is my normal time to get up, but I could sleep till 8 o'clock, no, 9 o'clock today, and I did it. Yeah, such a party animal, not around here. I don't have time to be a party animal, because I work all the time. I've got one day off now. Ugh. Anyways, so... I am going to do this again, yay, for Innovative Vapors. If you go to Innovative Vapors, we have a lot of great products, and we actually have some new juices in store, but the number one that's going on right now, besides the creme brulee, is Pucker Up. If you like a refreshing, puckery juice, but with a sweet taste, you will like it and it is really good anyways I am going to what I'm gonna do is anybody whoever wins I'm gonna run through the rules whoever wins I will PM you the information that you need but you have to make a account bunny bunny you decided to show up random 
And again, this is not for hosts, so I apologize. Oh, it's big day. We'll do that again. DC, you just won, so you don't get a play again. And DC, you have a month till you can play. Dang it! We're just gonna pick all the fucking mods. I can see this just going right along. Hey, Gatwood. Long time no see. Damn it! My random is broken! Okay! Sean, are you in here? I know, I give up. So, Sean, are you paying attention? Or are you kind of ghosting? I need my Sean skulls. Okay, so Sean is not paying attention. So. Yes. The skulls money is answering. Okay. Skulls, I need you to do me a favor. Type random in the room for me. I don't know. It's this damn rant. I need to bring back the the number game. And I think somebody else recently did that and I need to do that. Thank you, Skulls. I appreciate that. Paula, please put a one in the room. And hey DMB G Vapor. Now, I know Paula's there. No, 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 no. No, 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 Paula. Paula, you won the correct way. If you really want to pip, sure, but why would you pass up my juice? Okay. Randy! Randy's favorite is my juice, I believe, my cream. Okay, Paula. So what I need you to do is go to this website and make an account. Then, what I need you to do is pick from the five flavors. And if you ask me later, okay, I'll give you the answer anyways. But, because you're gonna be obviously joining me after this. <laughs> so, what you do is you go in, and I'll give you time to do this unless you wanna do it later and you can ask me later in Facebook anyways. But what you do, you never win anything. Well, then why would you piff it, Auntie? Go ahead, pick from the five flavors. B Bunny Farts, Creme Brulee, Bandango, Tiger's Blood, or Pucker Up. They have to be a 12 mil size. So pick from those five flavors. Put one into your cart of the five, one of the five flavors. Then go into your account. And remember, you have to make an account. Go into your account, go into your checking, or into your checking, go into your shopping cart, and make sure you put in the coupon code, I am about to IM you. And again, if you need to know later when you come on the show, or in Facebook, I'll go ahead and message you the coupon code. But anyways, put that in and apply the discount, and then check out as normal, and you will get your free bottle of juice. I will get that out to you probably tomorrow. And if you, and you both, DC, you and Paula have to do it before the end of the show or close to. Because I actually message everybody who needs to make the juice in the morning. If it's not me, it's Brittany. And we get things ready. But way to go, Paula! <laughs> now, since Paula is sitting here doing this because she is quiet, I am going to get. Oh, she's actually typing. Can I do it immediately? Yes, you can do it immediately after the show because I would actually like to have you on the show now. That way we can BS for a little bit. And this Vista Truth thing is crazy. I gotta bookmark it while I'm sitting here. And that was really good information, Kevin had. You're very welcome. You were just so sweet. Now I have to find you. And back to you. Cam, you're pretty quiet tonight, my dear. 
And Bunny and Host, I would love, I would love my host family to say hello to Cam. Sean, you met Cam last night. Oh, I can't find you. There you are. Okay, we need to change the music. Me? Nope. You? Nope. Yep. What? Den? No. Kimmy? No! I love you, Kim. Goodbye, Kim. She already left. Damn. Yes, Randy. He is a Kim is a customer at the shop. Very good guy. Did you see POV's new edition? I heard about something from Sean, but I don't know what you might be talking about. Paula, Paula. Hello. How are you? I'm good, Auntie. How are you? Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And you're beautiful. Having a fabulous. I'm glad you are. So you look so yeah. pretty. Working on that makeup oh. before the show, kid. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> you are. You crack me up all the time. <laughs> when you're my age, you you got to get started early on some things. Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> Usually, if I have the day off, I do. I start at 2 o'clock, and then I'll finally, like, because I lollygag. I'll, I put a little bit of this on, a little bit of this on. Then I run and have to do something else or change the laundry out. Then go back and get ready to do a little bit of this. It's hell being a woman. <laughs> So, Absolutely it is. <clears throat> what are you vaping on tonight? I have some Jerry's juice from Steam Juice. Uh-huh. I love Jerry's juice. It is a um like a bakery. It's it's some kind of a bakery. It's sweet, uh smooth. It is the perfect blender juice. If you have a juice that you're like, ah, it's not uh -huh. really doing its thing. Pop a little Jerry's juice into it, and it really is good. I keep thinking I should put this on ice cream. I think it would really? be really good on ice cream. Wow. Yeah, it's really good. I love this stuff. Yeah, I I'm addicted to it. I have juice like that, and I would, because there are some juices that, you know, I've had in previous years where I've picked them, but I've never had a juice that you could mix with something, and it actually tastes really good. Mm -hmm. This one does. Okay. I'll send you a little bit of it. I think well, I think you'll like it. Just send me a link it's, it's so I know good. where to order it from. Oh, I'll do that. Sure, I'll and, get you a link. And for I it. can get it myself. Um, so how did the meet? How did your? Oh, well, I guess we should introduce you since I already know you. But let's introduce you to some of our <laughs> new Hi. guests. Okay. Do you want to do it, or do you want me to introduce myself? <laughs> from, and now you can carry all the rest. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paula. <laughs> I'm from Casa Grande Vapors. We're located in Casa Grande, Arizona, halfway between Tucson and Phoenix. We are having our eighth vape meet on Saturday, August the 9th, from 1 to 4 at Duffer's Restaurant in Arizona City, <coughs> Arizona. And, um, I am so proud and honored to be a part of this organization. It is every day. It's it's a reward for me. I, I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> it's pretty strange. Get me emotional. I'm an emotional I know. Girl. Me too. Oh boy. And it the lives that we touch every day and and the people that we help every day is. Um, really rewarding I I cannot see me doing anything else and I am honored to be part of this great organization I really am and that rocks and that it is does an make honor. me get teary eyed because <laughs> I know what that's like I know the feeling I mean when I started bait networking I mean you know Dimitri kicked my butt and he said you need to do this so I jumped on board saying yeah I know how to do websites and blah 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 and you know then Marcy and Paris they help as well and it's yeah you have such 
a passion and such a desire to not to show how much this helped you. Yes, 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 and, and to reach as many people as we can before uh, before there's changes in the laws or something that that people won't have the options that you and I had. Right. I, I'm very concerned about that. Mm -hmm. Now, the question I have is, we're, say hypothetically, the FDA does, after the copulous amounts of reading they're about to do, which it could take a year to do, say in the end, in a year, that they do a taxes. Well, uh, to me, okay, it is what it is. But what if vaping yeah. ceases to be like cigarettes where we can at least sell it and then get it and it becomes a black market thing? Are you worried about it to that extent where you yes, would go and I buy am. off the black market? Oh, absolutely. I would buy off of the black market. I'd make my own liquid and make my own mods if I need to. Uh -huh. I have no qualms about that. The battery is available anywhere and everywhere. I mean, exactly. wherever, you know, you can buy your batteries just anywhere. They cannot outlaw the batteries. Um, yeah, sure, I would. I'm, I have no, no intention of stopping vaping no. and... I have no intention of changing the way that I vape or what I vape. Right. So yeah, I'll go black market. New York I know minute. I would. For and, sure. I, mm -hmm. and, and that is Mindy. Mindy is What's four that? weeks vapor. She's a four week vapor. She is now a month old. Yes. <laughs> and that's go it. girl. And that I mean, and that's why I mean, I really because of bait networking and the bait meets and events and know, getting to know you and getting to just branch out and know the community and to be able to use what I know at the bait shop to make me as successful as I am or be able to go to any bait shop and work wherever I need be. Um, it's yes. just that passion and that desire and all this knowledge that you learn as you grow from newbie vapor into being a year or two years or ten years. And when you hear that veteran ten year, it's like, holy crap, Batman, really? It, it, yeah. No matter what, you're, you, as a vapor, most people have that passion. I absolutely agree. And getting our new vapors uh, comfortable with, with whatever level they're at is very important with, if, if they want to go with an ego style battery and, and they want to stay with that, that's great. I do encourage people as much as possible to uh, look at some mechanical mods because um, they are repairable. <laughs> you can put a new battery into them when they die. Your your ego style battery. You usually do not have that option on on the basic ego style yeah. battery. So I really encourage people to try to take it from that ego style battery uh -huh. to uh, the next level, right? If possible, yeah. And I mm. think that that's what mm. we've been doing at our shop as well, is because if this turns out to be a crap shit hit the fan kind of thing at least you it can will. make your yeah, own juices at least you can have the mech mods they're not going anywhere variable roll tool I don't know how to solder I don't know how to get the numbers on here I don't know how to do this and that so I couldn't make a mod but let me tell you I know there is a YouTube video to show me how to make a mod there is mm -hmm. there is you can I, I think you can go up to the local radio shack and buy just pretty All much the everything parts. you need. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And sure, yeah. I mean, we've got DJ Bunny in the, or DJ and Bunny, we have Bunny in here. And her man, DJ, he, DJ J-Rock, he does his own mods. He has, uh, we just made one for Celtic Fury, but he makes the mods. I would give anything to have that knowledge so that I can actually make one. Just so that I know that I can do this, because when the shit hits the storm, I've got it. 
Yep, absolutely. And you know what? You and I, and all of us, we're all equally as capable to learn something. It may take us a little longer. We may need to do it over a couple of times. Yeah, remember that and we may actually, Yeah, <laughs> we can do it. I mean, there's no reason. It's like building your first coil. You sit there uh-huh. and go, Hello? Oh my God! Uh, really? You want me to? You want me to do what? How? <laughs> but really? We, On what? Now we, yeah. Now we just wrap a coil and go. There you go. It's right. all done. <laughs> and they're like, really? It was that so, easy? Yeah. We can do it. We can do it. I know we can do yes. it. And I and I think we have to get to that level. I try to get people to a self-sustaining level as possible. And all of us are, you know, at different levels. I know that, but. Right. And you run a fine line between scaring off a new person, a new vapor, going, oh, hi, I'm going to kick you to the next level. Right. Well, you better watch your words because you can't push. You can only show and lead, and they have to go at their own pace. Right. And when we're talking about this, there's one thing I need to make perfectly clear to people. We're talking about MUDs or variable voltages. We're wrapping our quests. If you are smoking or if you are vaping on an ego style battery that is fabulous I don't care if you're vaping on a single like battery you are not smoking. smoking that is all that matters you're not smoking cigarettes do whatever it takes to keep you from smoking and God bless you all because um, we know what smoking does to you and we do know that vaping is a healthier a choice than smoking. I'm not going to say it's healthy or it's safe. Right. It's a healthier choice. It's a better choice. A better so, alternative, yes. Yeah, if you, you, just because people talk, blow clouds, and that's their thing. Don't, don't worry about it. Just stick with what you're doing. If you get to that next level, good for you. And if you don't, we are here for you too. Don't don't ever think we're not. <laughs> we are. You have so much passion, and it always just makes me so excited <laughs> to talk to you. And and speaking of passion, your passion uh-huh. has brought you into something recently. We're going to get sidetracked and talk about the convention a little bit. Oh yeah, you know about that, of don't course. you? Sure, sure. Yeah, I did. So, uh, I did get sidetracked. So but, how um, did, how is that going? How is fabulous. the planning? Oh. Are, I mean, I know they see your passion. Oh, absolutely. We have signed up Space Jams, Strix Elixir, The Plume Room, Vape Dojo, uh, Valor Vapor, um, a Zikwid, Gourmet Vapors, uh on and on and on and on. Uh, <laughs> high-tech paper. We, we've got just we've got just a ton of people uh, coming in already to that debate me. Awesome. Already signed up and ready to go. Uh, the convention center is absolutely beautiful. My boss Joel just did a fabulous interview and uh, at right at the convention center, right in the lobby of it, explaining what was going to go on mm-hmm. with the with, at the vaping expo. So, do you it, want to tell? It, there is the so people, many. Would you like to tell some of the people the date, so that you, so you can talk about it, the date, the time? Do you know all this information yet? I do. Awesome. I do. I do. I do. It's October the twenty third through the twenty sixth awesome. uh, at the Phoenix Convention Center. Yeah. And I can. I'm not in the chat right now. I'm okay, just on it's the going screen, to be but, the Vapor um, Dynasty Expo 2014. Yes, that's correct. Yes, Vape, uh, Vapor Dynasty Expo. Okay. And if they if if you get that into it, they've got a we've got a website we've got a Facebook page we've and got a you YouTube want that channel. And info, we, people, you can always go to vapenetworking.com and go to the date and t- yeah. click on it, and yeah. then that will send you to all the links in the area, so that you can get that information for the convention that's going to be happening in Arizona that Paula is. 
working her butt off for. Really excited. It's a great organization. It's a fun job. I never in a million years thought that I would be doing right? something like this. <laughs> but it is a no bet it's a no brainer because I have been um, I've been vaping for over four years here in Arizona. I am pretty well connected to most of the vape shops. Uh -huh. I I I know what's going on pretty much <laughs> right. with within our within the industry down here. Right. And it it's just a logical thing that I, with with what doing what I love to do uh -huh. to bring these people together for this great event. Phoenix is the thirteenth largest metropolitan area in the United States. Uh, you look at Phoenix right now and what do we have? Fifty, five, sixty vape shops and every month a new one opens. Well, that's gotta tell you if these people are staying in business and opening new stores right. The, vape, the vaping population is growing by leaps and bounds up here. It is going to be a phenomenal event. Um, on our website, we've, if you guys want to come we, and you're from, from out of town, they, they can hook you up with hotel right on the website. They've got blocks of rooms there for you. We have workshops, we have speakers, breakaway workshops, music, clouds, contests, games. Uh, wow. It's, fabulous thing. It, it sounds it's like wonderful. this is not going to be just a convention. This is going to be a party and a blast of fun. Oh, oh. It is. It is going to be a party and it is a blast of fun. You're going to see vendors that you've probably never seen before and you'll have the chance to see and sample products you've never had the opportunity to, to see. They've got workshops planned for if you want to do it yourself juice. Um, uh, oh, the DIY? learning about yes, oh, and learning wow. about the safety of the nicotine. They've got workshops planned for vape shop owners, and this so vape shop owners, yeah, can go in and learn. It's it's something for everyone. It is an educational, informational, fun blast. blast. That's the only right. Way how how to explain yeah. that one? And actually, oh. I am going to post the information for this so that some of our people, uh, we have Gottwood who is asking where this is, so I am going to take a second and post the oh, sure. links for him and whatnot. Sounds like a plan. Um, it's We're about, uh, about half full already. Uh, our, our floor is and um, according to to the powers that be I understand we can get more room if, if we need it and want it um, right I, I'm just I'm just so excited for this it's it's hey, the greatest buddy. thing I think to hit mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be I'm, I was saying hi to somebody you're gonna you're gonna hear that occasionally because I don't want to be rude to the guests that are coming in so I say hi Real fast, so just ignore me and keep going. <laughs> Absolutely. Tell them hello for me, too. Paul <laughs> says hello, Carly, man. So, yeah. um, now, aside from the convention, you actually have a vape meet coming up. And I guess I would like you to reiterate again for those that are actually coming into the room as well, too. Sure, sure. We're going to do a vape meet uh, Saturday, August the 9th from 1 to 4 at Duffer's Restaurant in Arizona City, Arizona. And yes, the name of our group is Casa Grande Vapors from and out of Casa Grande, Arizona. But we, we tend to have our meets out at this little golf club. Uh -huh. um, they are very nice to us over there. They turn the dining room over to us. and. Just they take really good care of us. God bless their heart for doing it too. Yeah. Um, so we're doing a vape meet over there, and we will have our juice boards. Uh, we have a juice bar with uh, about 40, 45 different flavors wow. on it. That sponsors send us their juice, uh -huh. and then we, we we put them in tanks, and and we we have our members wow. sample these juices and our sponsors send us business cards so they can take their business cards and order at will um, 
And we have a dripping station too for those that, that oh, like cool. to drip. Yeah, we absolutely do that. We have door prizes. We have juice giveaways. We have raffles. And this month, we're doing something really, really cool. Okay. The Vaping Squad. Yeah, the Vaping Squad is out of Phoenix, Arizona. And, and uh, they work out of a wonderful vapor called Vapor out of the Phoenix metro area. Okay. And every Wednesday at 6 o'clock, this group of people known as the Vaping Squad go to the Ninth World Vapor and they sit down and they teach battery safety and coil building to anyone for free who wants to walk in the door. That is awesome. Uh, it is awesome. And I went up to one of those workshops with, with, with Trisha Ann, mm -hmm. the members of our group, and her and I just, we just had a ball up there. And, and on the way out, Sharon, the owner, says, hey, if you, if you think you want the uh, vaping squad down there, just let me know and we'll see what we can do to get the guys to come down to oh, Casa Grande so Vapors. Cool. Yes, and so it's happening. They are coming to this vape meet and they will be teaching one-on-one -on -one battery safety and basic coil building skills to any of our members who want that information. It's phenomenal. you got to realize, from, from here, from where we are, to, to where they are it is an hour and 20 minute drive oh my <laughs> just God. one way I know this is a this is a sacrifice in time and energy that they are giving us it, it's a tremendous gift that's the greatest gift you can give someone is your time and your energy oh, yeah. and, but and they're giving it to, to us and, this, mm -hmm. and, and, and the education that they're helping with too as oh. well I it, you you can't put a price on it. Um, thank you does not begin <laughs> to to express our gratitude for this. This is this is a wonderful thing, and this is a good thing because now our members are going to have the chance to meet the vaping squad face to face and find out their dads and brothers and sisters and just really ordinary everyday caring people and. I think it's going to be less scary for for our members to jump in the car and go up and to the to the Phoenix area and partake in more of their workshops. I think it'll be a good thing for all of us. And Trisha is here as well. Trisha or Trisha, yeah, Trisha oh, has joined us, Trisha. so she has been listening. And she oh, is good. Hi, Trisha now. Ann. <laughs> Hi, Trisha Ann. Well, she is she's quite a gal. She's. She's, she's kind of new to, to Casa Grande Vapor. She hasn't been with us very long. But boy, she's one of those. She steps into it. She's experienced. She's personable. Uh, she's, she's a great great person to have in the group, a great person on the team. She really is. Now, if we could not do... Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. You could not do... We could, we could not do vape meets without our sponsors and our volunteers and of our members who support us the way we do, the way they do. We could not do, not put these vape meets on without without those people. It's a total package. <laughs> I do understand that. And, 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 and it's like when I was talking to Kevin earlier about all the volunteers for cleaning up even at conventions and everything. That stuff, if you're part of doing the bait meets or the convention you if they're not telling you how appreciative they are then something is really wrong because everybody I know is so caring so passionate so loving so giving and they and I know I know you you are I guarantee the mushy mom or aunt as I say <laughs> who would give that doting affection and appreciation because you see the good in everybody and you want to praise that. Mm -hmm. So I know I, I it's going to be awesome. <laughs> It is going to be an awesome convention, I'm sure and I'm fortunate fun. enough to work for a man, Joel, <clears throat> from Vapor Dynasty Expo. He is very appreciative. He's very encouraging. 
I can pick up that phone right now and talk to him and say, I need some help over here. And he'd say, what do you need? And he would do it. That's the kind of person that he Well, then you need and to get you have a year to get him on the show. Because he keeps turning me down. I'm like, oh, Dude, he... I need you. Oh, yeah. No, he'll come on the show. I'll get him on the show. Okay, I'm so, sure we'll, so yeah. before the convention, what we'll do is we'll bring you on again and we'll have him on and then we'll have a threesome. Oh, that sounded so wrong. Oh. That did, that did, but that's all right. It sounds like fun. Let's do it. Oh my God, you kill me! I should say you slay me, like Jen says. That is funny. So, uh, what else has been going on in the community? Do you are, have you guys been getting more people calling you about getting some of those juices in Fubar? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as a matter of fact. We had two Villian vapors called, and they oh, wanted to really? put some stuff into. Yeah, they did. Awesome. They're out of California, right. and uh, th their package just arrived Friday. And pa oh. unpacking that was just a real treat. Hell yeah! It uh, is. Strix. Yes, it, it is. As uh, Strix Elixirs, uh, they're the uh, first time sponsored this month. Yes, and and they have very good juices. They're free steeped, uh -huh. and they sent a big box and then she sent a note and said I'm gonna do this again next month too and I'm like thank you wow. thank you thank you we are we are doing something right we we work hard to promo our sponsors we have uh -huh. our, our our Google Plus page we have a Facebook page for Costa Grande Vapors we have our group page and we have our website and I make sure that the postings are done all throughout uh, those pages to make sure that our sponsors are given the recognition and thanks that they so richly deserve. Without them, we couldn't do this. You know I, that. I, I, yeah. I knew. I totally get it. Yeah. And that's why. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying Poobar because he. <laughs> I had just won the Bridge the Gap contest, and I wish you could see me, but I want. Can you actually see the video? Did you see that in the beginning of the show? That yes, I did. Uh, bottle I, juice. I've never seen anything like that know, in my right? life. It's like, and you know, thank God I know that it is actually e-liquid because even the thickness, because if wine was this thick, we'd have a problem. But just oh, this yeah. bottle is fucking awesome. And could you imagine? I don't know. I, 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 I still am flabbergasted by it because it's, it's the biggest bottle of e-liquid that I've ever seen. Let me tell you. Oh. I understand what you're going through about wanting to sample it and afraid to pop the cork on it. That and and I heard you I heard you say something about taking a syringe and going through the cork. You don't want to get any cork in, in your know. liquid. I know. That's I don't know how the sucky thing. Because if you put a blunt in this. there, they, they yes, it is Fubar. That's why I'm in Texas. So what? It, but. Sticking it down in, even if you, whether it's a blunt or a sharp, you would definitely get the cork. You'd have to pull it out and somehow jam water in through the top part and then go back in and hope that you hit the right hole when you got the cork again. I know, I know. James uh, Benedict says that's Tom, the truck driver. Oh, hi, Jim, how are you? My Golly, you better get your truck home and get over here to one of the vape meets one of these days. You're always on the road. <laughs> Cam's laughing at me. He says good. But, you know, and James actually comes to the show a few times. I've seen him quite a few times, so I didn't know that this is who he is. So he's part of your group. And, he is. And he that's is. a pleasure, too, for me, because I can sit back and see all the different viewers who you guys hang out with because obviously it's so yes. different from the west coast versus the south the south coast the south part of us or the <laughs> east coast north coast i mean it's north and it's just so many different people it's really cool it is it is we're very we're very blessed to be in a very diverse 
diverse business because of all the different people oh and all God. the walks of life and diverse skills and personalities. Mm -hmm. and it, it's, it's very wonderful. You asked what was going on. Yes. Uh, Tempe, Arizona, which is a suburb, that it, it's a town, it, part of the Phoenix Metro Complex, Tempe, Arizona. Uh, at that. their last city council meeting, yes, yes, I'm sure you did. Um, I was posting about it as much as I could. I'm sure people, I bet people get tired of me. I bet they just <laughs> wish I would go away. <laughs> well, I sure don't subscribe to them if they do. <laughs> I love them. Um, uh, they, uh, they passed a, a vaping ban and have regulated vaping uh, on the same level as smoking cigarettes. So. Um, in 30 days, uh, you will no longer be able to vape in bars or nightclubs. Or you're, you're regulated to where the smokers are now. So it's very sad. It's very yes, very sad. It is. Oh, and the smoking ban. The smoking ban in Arizona started in Tempe, and and went you know oh. through, through. Yeah, I know. This is this is. Uh, this I'm going not, uh, to actually hit base on that for a second. It's me. This is Candy Crush from Foo Bar. They actually sent me, and I'm going to show you again for those that have come in. It has a cut here, so you can actually sit the juice like, my God, I hope I do this right. It scares me sometimes. <laughs> trying to get this <laughs> bottle set up and make sure that I don't spill it the wrong way. <laughs> Because I really do not want to lose this 750 mil bottle of juice. No, oh, no. Especially when I don't even want to open the board thing. And he keeps saying that I can <laughs> open the board, but I don't want to break the seal on it. Do you not understand? I do. I do. <laughs> Anyways, I think it is the coolest freaking thing. And this is from Fubar Juice. Yes, it is. That's a huge bottle. I could say that's what she said, Teresa. Okay, now touching base on what you were talking about with the bands and whatnot is we, I have just heard a story today about a Alvin, which is up in Texas, the north part of Texas, and apparently yes. what has happened is they did no research at all. They did absolutely no fucking research. They were a lemming. They said, you know their answer was? The reason why they did the ban and all this is because the state next door did the same thing, or the city next door did the same thing. So we'll just go with what they did. Really? And it's so sad because we need to get more and more people out there to... I mean, unless, unless the area is so small and there's only like five people in the fucking city or the little town or county you're in, which I can understand because we only have like 200 people, but really get out there. Somebody needs to be making some noise and getting this stuff going on and making people aware. Hey, Karen! It, it's hard. You, you can make them aware and you're welcome. It's if they're not willing to get up at their rear end and do something, or they're not willing to make a phone call or, or send an email when 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 the the format and the data and the information how do you make people want to do that? I've taken to telling them the truth. This is going to end. Vaping as you know it is not going to be happening unless you get off of your rear end and do something. Now, that's just as plain as I can say it, and that's not a very nice way to say it, but I've tried saying it nice. And, I don't and think nobody listens listening. when you're nice. I, I know. Do it or lose it. it it's, it's just that simple. The same, August 8th is coming up. That's the, de that's the date for the, uh, the final date for the FDA proposed regulations. And I will actually I've, go I've grab that link again from my Facebook page because I posted it again this morning, the call to action, the fourth yeah. call to action, and they were just talking about it on the Baby Militia. If you have not gotten your comments in, and I know Angel Rider, she did hers tonight, and I know Malachite, who said he was on 37 
pages that he is sending into the FDA. He's doing cross-referencing. He is getting all the statistics together. I mean, he is doing a thorough post. So, I mean, get out your comments because your rights are about to be nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, our rights are That's already dwindling as a, a, an American citizen, as is. And to take away yes. your rights is just Oh, fucking shit. I'm sorry. Oh, to take away your rights and when, when you don't even raise your voice in objection to it right? is pathetic. Right. You it's just, are, it's just, get your voice out there so that you can yeah. fight your own rights. I guess it's kind of like if, 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 you, if you don't like the people they voted in and you didn't vote, you really then can't. you can't say shit. <laughs> exactly. You can't complain. So get out there, guys. It's... If anybody needs help in writing a letter, or in, if you're if you're concerned about about Casal uh, has a very very easy program set up for you. If you have any concerns or you're leery of it, get a hold of me. I'll I'll walk you through it. I'll help you do it. Well, I'll proof your letter. Of, I'll give you a clues. I'll any do of it. The we got to do get, that. If you have any questions whatsoever, <laughs> what the hell to say? What do I do? What you know? Just do it. Just Put out yeah. your feelings, your opinions, your don't don't say, well, you guys should do this, you guys should do this. Just tell your story and how yes. it has affected you. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. We are now at nine oh one, so uh, I believe oh. I think Sean is going to be covering for me tonight, or Sean is going to be filling in. I believe Sean and I. Okay. Yes. Sean, I am ready, my love. And I wanted to say, Sean, it was great meeting you. I love you. And I want to thank you as well, Paula, for joining me. And I hope you guys have a great date meet. And we will talk to you also about the convention for sure. Uh, anytime you want. Thank you for having me. God bless you and for what you do. I appreciate it very, I love very you, much. <laughs> I will talk to you. Bye, soon. darling. Bye, hon. Okay, bye bye. Have a good night. And Sean, you take care of your take care and you guys all have fun and stick around for Sean and then stick around for Kelton. I'll talk to you all next week. Love you guys. Bye.